I think for a, a risk-averse industry where more and more the, the vast majority of the dollars are going towards mega projects and the large uh, sort of EPC firms, um, they don't want to play with and adopt technology that can only be used on certain projects. You know, there's to really gain efficiency um, and productivity gains, um, you need to be able to sort of distribute those lessons learned, capture that knowledge, do the knowledge sharing, get it across the whole organization so that if you are pulling your A players, parachuting them into sort of tough jobs and you're trying to ask them to fix it, if they don't have access to the tools they used on the last job to get things up and running, it, that's going to be really tough. Uh, it's going to be tough to even retain that employee. Um, it's going to be tough to ask people to kind of repeat this this sort of turnaround effort on jobs if the tools keep changing on them. Um, so, you know, now with, with connectivity, with mobile computing, the different sensor technologies, the ability to scan the world as it is around you and then compare it against a detailed model of what you're supposed to do, that starts becoming really interesting. It lays the groundwork to move towards the, the humanless job site. I'm sort of in the school of thought that we will never have a totally humanless job site because there's still things that humans can do that they're better than computers at. And sometimes these judgment calls that it's not really based on rhyme or reason. There's a lot of complexities that I think we will see labor and worker augmentation that you know, we'll start automating the mundane tasks or the very difficult tasks, the, the risky tasks. Um, but you'll see humans and machines um, and computing power working hand in hand. I try to make a safer, more productive job site.